Hey everybody, Goldie here, and today we are taking a look at the final character of the Legend Classics month-long contest. And uh, do not adjust your screen. What you are seeing is 100% accurate. Um, people kind of hinted maybe this could be a thing. Maybe we would have like Otis or Dusty Rose or some other bigger wrestler cosplaying as him, but uh, nope, the game said you're getting him as is. So our final character is Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. And again, just to reiterate, we have action figures, we have zombies, we have statues, we have Snoop Dogg, now we have Johnny Knoxville. We have people cosplaying as the Ghostbusters. Um, so, why not? Um, the Destructor Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. Take a look at the card Legend Era Aggressive Powerhouse Trainer Ability. He does round out um, the MP Reduction Trainers for green moves. Link's Legend Era Gems do 10% more damage. Just the one standard set of gear. And look at... They made him massive. They... They really went... All out. They really went all out. Um, he's so fluffy, I'm gonna die! He's so cute and cuddly and puffy and fluffy and... Evil. Okay. Let's look at the moves. And the first thing I'm going to do is I want to show off these two black moves. I would rather run it with the six star move, but I'm not on the official channel. Therefore, I'm not allowed to show the six star gameplay, which is unfortunate, but whatever. Um, so I'm going to show these two moves alongside red two. Um, so red one lying in wait for MP. This move can only be used while pinned, so similar to Ghostbuster Roman. Deal 520,207 damage and increase your black gem damage by 1500% for three turns. Yes, that is 1500, 1500% for three turns. Black 2 is the Sugar Rush for MP. It is a reversal. Maybe missing the description there. Uh, deal 514,530 damage, kick out of pin, and swap 16 random gems to red gems. Gems broken during kick out do not deal damage to the opponent and cannot kick out when in danger. And red 2 is the Gozer Bomb, 9 MP, deal 102,853 damage, and choose 4 rows to destroy. Like I said, I would rather do this and be like, this is the six star build, uh, but not a thing. So we're going to try to make this work for preview purposes. Entourage for this, we're keeping super straightforward. Butch for red MP, Striker Dean for black move damage, Santa Hogan for more gem damage, NWO Big Show for a shot at getting um, more black gems on the board. For the belt, Full Fury looked for some black gem substats, um, a level 15 tier 4 percent for the finisher. And we're going to use the DX Army Assault plate. DX Army Assault. Whenever you break three or more purple gems, make seven green into black at the end of your turn because the black gems are going to be boosted up the wazoo. So I want as many of those on the board as possible. But... We have to get pinned first. So, um, let's see what, um, Stay Puffed can do when Santa Ogan, which is the powerhouse, not actually Santa Ogan, uh, runs wild on... Yahoo! Can't poke his belly, can I? Woohoo! No? That sounded better in my head. He's so evil looking! But he's so cute! Not like in a Jeffrey Dahmer way. Just clarifying. Um, so the reason I wanted to go up against Powerhouse Hogan is because this gear gives him starting MP. He walks in loaded. Which means we're probably going to get pinned right away. Which is what we want. Or we could Cascade. That works too.
That should make an F load of wild cards and pin us. Excellent. So, two moves that you gotta use on a kickout. Move number one. Lying in wait. Um, <laughs> Striker Dean and the uh, tier 4 black percent put this move at 1.5 million damage. So we're gonna do that. No animation because we're literally just lying in wait. Uh, move number two, the Sugar Rush, also 1.5 million damage, gonna make 16 random reds. Whole lot of cascading going on. DX plate triggers. He is technically pinned because reversals work weird. Our black gems are doing 316,000 damage, but we are gonna hit this move. Uh, 103,000 damage. She's four rows to destroy. Blap. He's so cute. I can't with him. He's adorable. And I'm gonna do that to cascade and break a bunch more black gems. Again, 316k a pop, so he's dead. Majority of that health came off during the kickout attempt. Spam some more black gems out there. Doesn't even show how much damage we've done, but I'm sure it's a shitload. Um, but that's how those moves would work. You gotta get pinned. But once you do- Aww. I just wanna hug him. Uh, so you have to get pinned. But once you get pinned, it's over. Kenny Smith. Alright, let's take a look at another three-star build. Second three-star build we're going to take a look at, and this is my preferred three-star build. Uh, it's the finisher red two with yellow one. So the finisher, raising, empty your head, 10 MP color submission. Choose 10 gems to make into yellow submission gems. And do 166,601 damage for three turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining submission gems turn into blast gems. We're using the Gozer Bomb again, which is choose Rose to destroy. And uh, yellow one, the snack attack, 7 MP, deal 82,347 damage. And choose 7 gems to make into red gems. Entourage for this, we're going with Kofi for more yellow MP to start, plus an extra red gem. Slick Rick, 20% more damage to all of our gems. Santa Hogan, 2200 flat damage to all of our gems. And uh, bringing in Typhoon for a little bit more red gem damage and a little bit more blast gem damage. Sticking with the full fury. Bringing in a red percent. And a blue bomber plate. 50% chance to create two random blast gems each time you use a signature move or swipe a gem. You could also do General's Orders, which is break red, get yellow. If um, it doesn't really need it because these two moves are going to, like the sub and yellow one are going to fill each other. But maybe on the off chance you get dodged, you get submitted, and you want something to give you back the MP, a General's Orders would be an option. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so turn one with my tour perks, keep that in mind. And, again, my tour perks I could probably just make, like, a four match, but I'll just do the standard two, three matches, get it over with. Snack attack! Oh, so cute! I know it's not supposed to be cute, but, like, in The Simpsons, you know how the, the Funzos were, like, those lovable... Um, animal, stuffed animal, toy, robot things that were like cute and cuddly and then they were evil. That's how I feel about um, Stay Puffed right now. No, I have not seen Ghostbusters in case you're wondering. Um, okay, done. Get some blasty boys. Tend to make into yellow submissions, so we're going to do uh, three match, three match. And then we'll just cover up what we got. They're going to turn into Blast Gems, so actually I don't really want them in the corners. Like, I'm kind of in the middle, but I'm kind of bound by how things drop. That was adorable! Why is this game adorable? Um... Uh... 
four, five, six. Eight. Yeah, no. We're just gonna head and hit this. Destroy stuff! Boom! Stay puffed mad! Why is he smiling? <laughs> I'm so confused. I'm so angry! And now I'm happy! <laughs> Alright, let's see what we can do at 4 star. I think this is where it's gonna start to get fun. Four star build is going to keep red two and yellow one and going to bring in yellow two, which is the confection rejection, seven MP. Deal 90,000 nine damage and choose one gem to make into four turn countdown gems. That will deal five million one thousand nine nine hundred eighty four damage. Five million nineteen eighty four when the movie was made. Clever. I see what you did there. Uh, but that that's no cap. That's that's a five million dollar hit. Five million dollar. Five million damage. Whatever. Okay. So what we're gonna do. Kofi for the yellow MP. Santa for the gem damage just cause. We're gonna use Acro, Jimmy, and Texina to get two more of these. You could use the sub to refill everything again, but I'm worried about leaving behind the blast gems and destroying our countdowns. Not necessary. So what we're going to do is bring in the general's orders plate. We're going to try to see how, um, like they're four turn countdowns, right? So, and he's probably going to, we need to find a different opponent. He's ready to go on turn one. It's going to be no bueno. It's also no bueno. Uh, but like how many, if we make a wild card on turn one, then fine, we'll go beat up Ivar. You know what I'm getting at though. Like if we make a wild card turn one and we take a swipe and we use the general's orders plate to refill all the yellows again, how much of that can we do to reduce um, our countdown turns with the pin bar we have? We'll see. So three to make into four turn countdown gems. Get out of my ring. Uh, loot box is usually a safe bet. Choose eight to make into red. Bleep! Eight, four, five, six, seven, eight. I already don't like this. Oh wow. Okay. Eh. Mm hmm. Okay. Not using this. Okay. Yellow match. Nice. Move the pin bar. Nice. It's working. This is where it gets effy for me. Not the wrestler. Nah. No. Okay, good. Oh, but that didn't drop good. I can do that though. Eh. Two, three, four, five. That's gonna be. That's gonna be close. Damn it! Okay. You probably don't have to play it this careful. I'm just trying to get out as many as I can. Not that it matters. One is going to kill him. Back! 
And then we could just use this as a finisher. That's just me effing around seeing what we can actually do. Let's get some loot boxes. Loot boxes. Okay, I'll take those off. But yeah, that can be disgusting. And even if you don't have Cena or Jimmy, one countdown does five mil. The extras are basically just bonus in case you blow up the board or something goes wrong. Not necessarily, you know, maybe it's at six star, obviously, you're going to have more than five million health. But at lower levels, it's just it's just fun to fuck around and see what you can find out. Uh, let's test out one more build. Five star move we're going to bring in alongside the two yellows. It is the Taste of Terror, 9 MP. Deal 110,000, 11 damage, and choose one gem to make into three turn Juggernaut gems that will force your opponents to skip their turn for one turn on every countdown turn and increase your yellow MP by seven at the end of the countdown. So we're going to do Juggernaut, we're going to do Countdown, and we're going to go choose Red Move. I'm keeping the Entourage the same because really all you need is, you know, get this move going on turn one. If you don't have perks in place, Kofi and Shamrock, uh, the Striker Shamrock, or um, Beth Phoenix, NWO Perfect, anyone that gives you that extra two yellow MP will do just fine. And keeping the Fury, keeping the General's Orders play, and we should be able to play this to get those Juggernauts triggered on turn one, barring a Cascade. Famous last words. Mm. So let's get those out just because. That, the snack attack. That should charge the move. Give us. That's fine. Didn't cascade. Let's us charge the move. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, okay. That was kind of cool looking, not gonna lie. Um, I want to do that again. Red match, no cascade. Juggernaut's trigger. Stunned. Sure, let's do that. Ah, yes, the general orders plate. My bad. Whatever, you're stunned again. Now let's stun Lupia. Bang! Never saw it coming. <laughs> oh my god, this is ridiculous. Nice. Not nice. Nice. Very nice. Damn it. So he should be unstunned now. Oh no, it's still stunned. Sucker, countdown move. Bye. Bye. Stay puffed, bitch. I don't know if that's just, that's probably not a slogan, um, but it should be. Ta -da! Da -da 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 Okay, I have an idea. Bear with me. This is going to be really dumb, but bear with me. Okay, so about that idea. 
Um, as you can see, the Marshmallow Man has died. Um, I thought it would be a good idea to go against Ghostbuster Hogan and, like, recreate the movie. Um, but when you use the Sugar Rush and he has his trap gems on the board, you lose all your health to him. So, yeah. We ain't doing that. But that does conclude my preview of the Marshmallow Man. Stay puffed. He's very fun. He's very fun. Again, six star build is going to be the two black moves with this. He's got a stun lock juggernaut. He's got countdowns that do insane damage. He's got a sub. He's got kickouts. He's got lots and lots of fluff. And uh, I know it's been a bit of a confusing month long contest for everybody. But that aside, what did we think of the four Ghostbusters and eventually getting a stay puffed? as quote-unquote the final boss for Faction Boss. Let me know in the comments of this video. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch. Be sure to like, share with your friends, and subscribe so you're notified when my next gameplay video comes out. Thank you again for watching, and thank you for being a friend. Stay puffed!